Hi, I'm vocal coach Eli Prinson from hybridvocaltechnique.com. Today's video is on pitch accuracy. Are you tone deaf? Do you got any business doing this in the first place? Have you heard that before? Have you, uh, if you're a beginner, have you had, you know, had people just rip your heart out and, you know, step on it and tell you, or just break your heart and tell you, you know what, singing's not for you. That's not your gig, man. Just give up. You know, you're tone deaf. Tone deaf. Okay. Well, let me tell you a little story. When I went to take vocal lessons, when I first started with my very first teacher, who was my main, uh, he was my vocal mentor, my friend, uh, my main vocal teacher, Al Cohen. I asked him the same thing. See, I was a guy, I was a drummer in a band and I couldn't even sing background vocals. I remember we needed background vocals and I went and bought one of those hokey looking little Kip Winger looking head worn microphones. And I, I couldn't even, I couldn't sing background vocals and I couldn't sing in falsetto either. I didn't understand how to use the voice yet. So long story short, I ended up taking lessons, right? I had found there's a whole story about how I found my teacher, but um, but I remember, you know, I, I had a huge Christmas list of all the things I wanted to be able to do with my voice. I want it. What's the highest note I can hit. I want to have a five octave range and I want this, that, and the other. And, and, um, come to find out that it was going to take a lot of training and a lot of effort and a lot of dedication on my part. And, um, but I, I but I, I was so bad that I went ahead and asked my, I asked, uh, Al, I was like, you know, you know, be honest with me, am I tone deaf? You know, uh, I've been told this out of the other, or, you know, I shouldn't even try or whatever. And he, and he told me the, the percentage of people that are truly tone deaf or have a bad ear is, is almost sig insignificant. The number is so low. And, um, he said the secret to, uh, singing, uh, with good intonation and good, uh, pitch accuracy was good listening. I'm like, okay, all right. And he said, um, he said, good singers, really good singers, great singers are excellent listeners. And he used to have this uh, thing behind him where he sat, you know, and I like his students would stand in front of him, in front of him with a microphone. He would sit down in front of them with a keyboard and a microphone. And um, he had this thing that said, Imagine a beautiful picture and now paint it with your voice. And the interpretation of that was that you, that singing is visual, that you imagine the sound, you imagine the pitch, the vibrato, the resonance, the projection, the tone, everything is conceived with the mind. It starts here. Now, all the, the training is you know, motor skills and muscle memory and coordination. And, you know, there's, there's a part of things that are training and the majority is this. Okay. So this is something you can do. The beginners always ask, am I tone deaf? Should I even try this? And I'll tell them, you know, Hey, well, let's find out. And, um, I remember Al said, uh, you're, you know, you in a band. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to be, you know, cause I had started a band with some other bandmates that I was playing drums with. And I was like, yeah, trying to sing, you know, and, uh, but he goes, uh, you ever heard the guitar players tune their guitars? They'll hit the two strings, turn the peg and bring the, the sound in and, uh, to get it in tune. And he goes, how do they know when it's right? And I said, well, it, the second strings, you know, once they turn the peg, it sounds like the other one. He goes, yeah, but how do they know? He goes, they listen. He says, uh, that's why they're hitting both strings to see if it's out. He goes, so he, this is what we did. And if you don't have a keyboard or a guitar, you can uh, use an app online uh, from virtualpiano.net. It'll pull up a piano right on there and you can click with your mouse right on a note on the uh, computer. And it'll even show you the, you know, the, the name of the, the note and everything. But basically he said, we're going to hit a note. I'm going to hit a note on the keyboard and you sing it. If you're out, I want you to, and you'll recognize it because it won't sound right. I want you to think about turning that peg and tuning the guitar string, just like your bandmates, your guitar player tunes his guitar. So this note right here, middle C, 
Okay, that's in. If I was out, it would be slightly off. Uh, right? Uh, now, most people will be able, able to hear that. It won't be a mystery. It'll be so, you know, drastic. All right, even a little bit off, it, it'll just hit you. Uh, so that's a little flat, right? So you'd say, turn that peg. So he would hit the note. Uh, and then as soon as I was right on, he would start tapping on the key and I was supposed to start spinning the vibrato at that point. So as soon as I got it, if I was out and I brought it in, he'd tell me, turn the peg. And then he'd start tapping and I would start spinning the vibrato, right? Like this. So I'll, I'll purposely sing out. Uh, And so we would do this randomly all over the keyboard, not in a chromatic scale to tune every note, but randomly to get the mind working. So I wouldn't know that the next note was going to be, it might be right here. Ah, ah, all right. And so on and so forth. All right. So then. What's going on there? You're listening. You're listening. You're thinking about the sound. You're keying into his key, right? And you're, you're listening and you're trying to match it. The next step is thinking ahead, okay? So we would do things like this. We would sing a straight scale. Me, ma, me, ma, me, ma, me, ma. Okay. So I'd be able to hear the keyboard. And so I could listen to that and sing along with it. But then he'd be like, okay, I'm going to give you the first note. You know what you're going to sing. You know the exercise. Okay. Now let's make sure you land at the octave below that. So now start singing. Okay. So then I would sing it. Me, ma, me, ma, me, ma, me, ma. And I'd land in the right place. If I was off, me, ma, he'd be like, turn that, tune that, uh, turn the peg. Ah. Okay. And then mommy, 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 mommy. Okay. So we would do this with a variety of exercises. All right. So it didn't, didn't matter what register or range it was in. Mom, 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 mom. Okay. And then this, the level of difficulty would get higher and higher. It would go into maybe some octave or octave and a half and then two octave scales, some arpeggi arpeggios and things like that. And, um, you know, he might give you the first four notes, you know, or the first uh, from the top. Mom, 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 mom. And, and all over the place randomly, okay? So it's an easy way to uh, train the ear or is to get yourself to think ahead. All right. Have a concept. All right. I know I've said this a million times, but I'll say it again. He also had a prop of um, a blank canvas on an uh, easel. And I finally asked one day, why isn't there anything on there? Do you, you know, you paint or what? And he's like, no, he said, that's a teaching prop. And uh, he says, if you were going to uh, paint a picture, wouldn't you look right at that thing and have a visual in your mind of what you were going to paint and and get on there and, and be thinking about it and, and do it? Or would you just, you know, carry on a conversation with Fred over here and just, just hope for the best, you know, if you really wanted to, wanted it to come out looking good, you would take your time and pay attention. And he would say, that's the exact same thing you do with your singing, whether it be training your voice, singing a song, think 
the sound that you want to hear, that you want the audience to hear. Think the sound, the resonance, the, the, the tone quality, the beauty of the voice, everything that you want to come out of your body and you want to be heard. Think that before and while you're doing it, okay? So I hope you uh, got some value out of this. If you need help uh, with your voice, um, go to hybridvocaltechnique.com. Even if you tried all the other programs and all the other coaches, um, make sure you try me last, if not at all, okay? I can help you. I have home study programs and I teach uh, privately online via Skype or Zoom, all right? Train your voice, make your dreams come true. Have a great day, all right? See ya.